Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from VitaCoaching.com. We are talking about jealousy for men. And the topic for this video is why unwanted jealousy or unjustified jealousy is emotional abuse. If you are still trying to justify your emotional response, you know, to be controlling or demanding, and you think that you're still on the edge of, you know, well, I just do it because it's right. Maybe she might be cheating with somebody else. You know, she might... She might run away, so it's my role to protect that, it's my role to control her. You know, if you try to justify this type of response, I'm here to give you a power kick, okay? I'm here to tell you exactly what I feel about it and try to take a little bit of defense of your girlfriend or wife and also give you a path, a long-term path, so that you don't get stuck with that attitude. Unwanted jealousy or unju unjustified jealousy is useless okay absolutely useless you can focus on that and realize that over and over again it's a jealousy response it's an attitude it's an emotion you can get rid of we are not taking we are not talking about justified jealousy we are talking about situations where you are overreacting where there is no real danger for your relationship but there is no re no real threat Okay, so why is it that unjustified jealousy is emotional abuse? Well, imagine, take the, pos the position of your girlfriend, for instance, or your wife. Okay, imagine her falling in love with you, right? Maybe it's five, ten years ago. Maybe it's last year. Maybe it's six months ago. What is she thinking? She thinks, wow, here is a nice guy. I feel attracted to that man. I want to spend time with him. I think he's really nice. And then she gets into a relationship with you. Okay, listen to what she was saying originally. I feel love for you. I feel attracted to you. And therefore, I want to spend time with you. I want to share my life with you. You take the situation now, you know, six months, one year, or three, four, five years later. Okay, what is happening to her? She has a man in her presence that she decided to love who is abusing her freedom. That's what is happening. You, if you express unwanted jealousy or unjustified jealousy towards her, you are trying to control her. You are abusing her happiness, abusing her freedom, and abusing her joy to be alive in the first place. She starts resenting you. She starts feeling like she's locked in within that relationship. And that's the last thing you want. If you're trying to justify your jealousy or just justify your controlling attitude, stop right now. There is no justification. You have no right to control or to own somebody else's life. The right that you take, you know, when you do that, you are abusing your power as a man. You are abusing your right. There was never a moment in her life since she started having a relationship with you, where she gave you the right to control her life. She never came to you and said, okay, because I'm in a relationship right now, this gives you the right to tell me what to do. This gives you the right to own me. She, this gives you the right to be controlling and demanding with me. She never said something like that. What she signed up was for happiness, was for a partnership to empower each other, it was for love, it was for respect, for harmony, these kind of things. And yes, for power, you know, to empowering the relationship as well, but not for some form of emotional nightmare or some form of controlling and demanding pressure which is on her all the time. You have to realize that. When you are performing these actions, it's not that different than, you know, physically abusing her. It is emotionally abusing her, it is emotionally locking her in within a set, of ma uh, a set of emotions, a set of pressure that threatens and destroys her happiness, her, her joy, her pleasure to be alive. You have to realize that and stick it in your mind. This is very important. And I know that I'm being a bit tough here with you. Why? Because uh, if your relationship is about to collapse, you have to do something about it and you have to stop that behavior. On the spot, you have to get rid of it. You have to find another posture, another way to relate to her which works best. And this is what we fo focus on together. Okay? Uh, take care for now and have a great day. Bye-bye.